Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome to this video. So first of all I wanted to thank you guys all so much for all of the support of my previous videos and also getting me to 5,000 subscribers. That's an absolutely unfathomably high goal. I never thought I would ever make it anywhere near here so really huge shout outs to you guys. Thank you so much for getting me to that huge goal. And for 5,000 subscribers I am going to be doing a giveaway. Make sure you stay tuned in the Discord and Twitter for that information. Also if you haven't heard about it already, Skin Bay is a beautiful site with a really nice UI. It's very easy to navigate and you can buy skins on there for great discounts. If you use my link in the description below, I will be able to get a little bit of support out of your purchases. So if you do want to go ahead and use that link, it would really greatly help me produce more videos in the future. So thank you guys so much for checking out Skinbay if you do. If you do decide to buy anything on Skinbay, be sure to show me in my Discord or on Twitter and I'll let you know what I think of your purchases. Alright guys, so in this video what we're doing is interviewing Fat Metal. So if you don't know who Fat Metal is, he's very big on Twitter for CSGO skins and he's also very big in the CSGO trading community because he has not only an extremely insane inventory, but he also has one of the most expensive inventories in the entire game. Furthermore, he's also a big mod on Global Offensive Trade, which is of course one of the biggest trading forums on the planet, so for him to be that big of a person in that forum itself is a very interesting thing. So today we went ahead and talked to him about his journey and some tips he has for new traders. If you do want to go and check out Fat Metal, he does have some links in the description below to both his new website and also to his Twitter account. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Let's get started. Hello, I am Fat Metal. I am a trader, collector, whatever you want to call me, and a modern global offensive trade. First question, how did you start trading? I started trading back in the days in, in school actually, when I bought a knife with my pocket money with a friend. <laughs> I yeah. think it was a gut knife night. It was disgusting. <laughs> Next question, what was your best deal of all time? My best deal probably actually happened like two hours ago for my uh, AK Blue Jam with Titan Hollow and Wood, which I sold for a lot of Akanas. But I also did um, another very profitable profitable deal back in the days, uh, like half a year ago, for my full blue Statrek Talon case hunt, which was a lot more interesting because it wasn't just a Kanas, it was like a few blue gems, a few good float knives and stuff like that. Yeah, those, those, so those are, are probably the best ones. Those are really sick. Those are just sick items yeah. in general, who definitely got your yeah. items that not everybody gets to see. And, yeah. um, uh, the deal today was kind of boring because it was like... 90% arcanas and hooks so yeah i kind of get yeah. that feel too when i do deals like that because it's like you know it's a lot of just pure items and not necessarily yeah. like cool items that you can get out of it you know like cool stickered items or yeah, whatever. Exactly. so yeah I, I get that feeling too but you can buy those with the arcanas so <laughs> yeah exactly so All that's right. a good part <laughs> moving on to question three what initially drew you to csgo trading uh well i was playing the game with friends and one day we decided we decided to just buy a knife <laughs> Yeah. I got bullied at school for a week. <laughs> I was spending money on virtual pixels. Yeah. Then, then you're the one <laughs> laughing. Well, though. Yeah, you're the one laughing at them after that. <laughs> yeah. Now, now I'm the guy not stuck in a uh, in a twenty uh, like forty hour a week job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so uh, next question: What kind of items are your favorite to trade? Pretty much anything that's special. Yeah. So blue gems, sticker items, souvenirs. I don't really like float based items because like I don't really care if I have a, the best float in the game, if it still looks the same, like on Doppler's for example, float doesn't really matter. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. Having the best item, having the best float and then having like, you know, a float that's just average for the same way, a lot of them just look yeah. identical, so there's not really any physical difference. Yeah. Well the stickers and gems and stuff, you know, those actually have physical differences and they make yeah, them exactly. really unique. So yeah, I definitely agree with that. Uh, so, how did you get involved with Go Trade? Well, I I just used it for like a year or two, and decided why not apply for a moderator job or officer back in the days, actually. So yeah. there's not really a cool story behind it. That just I thought I have free time on my hands. Why not use it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of people do that. But by now you're probably one of the most famous moderators from it. So you definitely did, <laughs> definitely did a good job there. So what is your opinion of the current scene or like the current and like the current seven day trade ban? Uh, I like the scene. <laughs> I don't like the trade ban, of course. Nobody does. But I, I mean, I, I don't really understand why they did it. They had motives, but I I really doubt 
that the motives they told us are the motives they took uh, they took into consideration. I really think they try to boost the market sales with it, but yeah, we we see we saw how that turned out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The seven day trade ban just made things a lot harder for people that are legitimately yeah. trading. <laughs> Kind of like when yeah, I'm, I'm, someone, when a teacher like punishes the whole class for like one thing yeah, someone exactly. did. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunate. I'm just glad people figured out ways to get around it with Arcanos and TF2, TF2 case back in the days. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad there's alternatives to it. It still, yeah. it still sucks on the CSGO items though, but yeah, we can work around yeah. it, so it works out. Uh, Alright, so moving on to the next question. How long do you think you'll be trading for? That's a very tough question because like, Nobody knows how the market will evolve. Mm -hmm. I I think it has a good future simply because if you look at the numbers, we have never had so many people play the game. Mm -hmm. Like I no think way. the record back in 2018 or something was at 700,000 average. Now we are at 1.1 million almost. Yeah. And also while we uh, helping the scene with confirming majors until like 2022 i think yeah there's those, those are well, i hope definitely helping yeah I, I hope i'll stay in the scene for as long as i have fun pretty much because at the end of the day it's just a hobby mm -hmm. and if i don't have fun doing it then i can just stop yeah that's that's definitely very important if you're not having fun doing it and there's like you know you don't have the energy to do it then it's not going to work out just with yeah. the different factors you know so yeah, I definitely agree with that. I couldn't too. do this as a as a main job or something. Yeah, it's a lot of <laughs> work. Sure. Yeah, it's stressful. What is something Cut. you want to show to change about trading? Uh, well, I, I could say the obvious thing: remove the seven-day trade burn. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but, but to be honest, a lot of the things people asked for have been done, like storage boxes. We don't have the one thousand item limit anymore. Yeah, like I guess really, stackable really items, but since keys aren't really traded anymore anyways, that problem also don't exist. Yeah. I mean, it... stackable like Hanos would be nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That, that'll be that'll be a really good change, but it'd be hard to <laughs> exactly, you know, yeah. with Dota 2 inventories. <laughs> and I'm not really related to CS, but yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing that could be very interesting is uh, Source 2 and how that will affect the skins. Yeah. If they just keep them the way they are, or if they remodel them, I really hope they keep it. Yeah. Or like do minor thing that just improve it. Yeah, I hope it's minor things like the recent shader change they did. I hope it's like something minor where it just makes yeah. the skin look like slightly better in game, you know. And yeah. uh, and we'll see what happens with that. It's definitely a big change if it you know does get implemented all the way through. All right. So now for the fun question, what's your favorite song right now? That's probably the toughest question in here yeah. <laughs> because I listen to so much music. I'd probably go with Opeth Black Water Park. Okay. Or pretty much any good song from Opeth. <laughs> Do you like them a lot? Yeah, I saw them last year at Wacken, and since then I've been kind of addicted to them. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of bands like that that I just like like everything that they put out. Yeah, I definitely yeah. agree there. What tips do you have for new traders that are just starting off? Probably the best advice for new traders is to not really take too much advice from others. Because if you just take an advice from like a big person in the community and a lot of people do that, then a lot of people uh, adapt into that niche and it just gets worse for everybody. So look around what niches are available and test them out, see what works for you, what you have the most fun with, and then try to yeah, find what suits, you, what suits you best. Yeah, that's definitely true. I 100% agree with that. Those are good tips. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. You can go ahead and like shout out whatever you want, and then I'll also put links in the description to whatever you want as well. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to shout out whatever you want in the video, you can do that now. Okay. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, follow me on Twitter and check out my new website. <laughs> yeah, those are all. Those are great. If you want to go check out Fat Metal on Twitter, or if you want to check out his website, his links are in the description below. So yeah, and do that. don't worry, the website will get a design eventually. Yeah, it's just uh, just the HTML <laughs> right now, but yeah, it's yeah. it's good though. It has a lot of useful features for sure. The the exchange rates for sure are really cool. So yeah, yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming on, man. I really appreciate no it. Follow. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. Have a good one. So, guys, that's the interview with Fat Metal finally concluded. Hopefully, you guys made it to the end. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video content and enjoyed hearing from him. He's a really good source of information, and he's also a very good trader. So, clearly, his tips on what new traders should do to make a lot of money is 
going to be something that you want to take to heart if you're a new trader. So anyway, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you didn't already, check out my skin bay link in the description below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this. Subscribe to the channel and put on notifications for the latest investment tips before anybody else on YouTube, and also the best investment tips for anybody else on YouTube. And of course, be sure to check out my Discord and Twitter below for that giveaway information that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Anyway guys, really hope that you enjoyed it. See you all next time. Peace.